All right, all right, my friends, let's do this. It's time for episode 126 of my Sunday night virtual, uh, uh, wait a minute now, Sunday night stay-at-home bodies virtual open mic, 126, uh, where I post a set here every uh, Sunday night, 8 o'clock Pacific time here on YouTube, repost it over on Facebook, and then below the Facebook post, if the algorithms will let me, I will post uh, all the musical friends of mine whom I'm in the process of listening to. Uh, some of them are new videos that I've tracked down and others of are just their discography that I'm working my way through. Pleasure to, you know, some of my musical friends have been making music for 20 years. So I start at the beginning and work my way through or I start now and work my way back. But I just listen to my musical friends on Sunday nights while I work out, practice, stretch, do a little Tai Chi yoga and whatnot hang out with the missus and listen to my musical friends. So uh, yeah, nice thing to do. So let me get my pregame going and then we'll get started with this week's set. Uh, I got to light a little incense, turn on the Dylan light and uh, be right back. Little mood light. I got my moonbow archery shirt on today because we were we were arching this morning. Uh, not very good at it, but I like it. It's a fun practice. <sighs> Little Oregon green. Tiny nip of the Dylan whiskey. You see my Dylan light back there? I love that light. Got a poster of Bob back in his Rolling Thunder days. Put a little light up there, and next thing you know, Dylan light. All right. Now I pick a theme every Sunday just to help me figure out what the hell to play. I got so many songs. And I'm taking a break from playing original music the last week. Played a set of folk songs. Going to do another one. Folk songs, part two. My arrangements of some quasi-traditional or traditional folk songs. Sometimes I tweak the lyrics a little bit or change a chord or two or, you know, do the folk thing. <laughs> Mrs. 
Mississippi River is deep and wide. My baby left me on the other side. Yeah, she's gone, and I don't worry. Lord, I'm sitting on top of the world. She made me sick, she made me well, took me to heaven. Put me through hell But she's gone And I don't worry Lord, I'm sitting on top of the world Was in the spring One sunny day My baby left me She went away Yeah, she's gone Sitting on top of the world Oh yeah, she's gone And I don't worry Lord, I'm sitting on top of the world Yeah, I love that song. So that one is supposedly written by Walter Vincent and Lonnie Chapman or something like that. But I'll tell you, when you listen to old, old versions of that, it doesn't sound anything like that, what I just played. And uh, I think there's a Doc Watson version that kind of went into, took it from blues into bluegrass. And then there's other versions that took it into a, like... Uh, more of like a folk blues. I, I I don't know. I've heard so many. I've heard so many different versions of it. So I assume it maybe started with those two guys. But like a good folk song, it morphed. So what I did was uh, I changed a few words. I think the original was she called me up from El Paso, and I don't like. I I like El Paso, and if I and I can't say El Paso the way it's commonly pronounced and still hit the. You have to go El Paso. <laughs> so I don't like doing that. I don't like changing the way some I normally, you know, balance my syllables. Uh, and uh, so I change it to Mexico. So, you know, she called me up from Mexico instead of El Paso. And uh, I think I might have changed a few other words. I might even have added a whole verse, maybe two. So I probably added some things in there. And I also added, now she's, uh, she called me up from Mexico. Da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. I just like that chord better than the more standard uh, cowboy chord version of that uh, particular moment. So, you know, there you have it. My version of sitting on top of the world. Okay. Now we're going to, I don't think I changed anything on this one. Worried Man Blues, I don't believe I changed anything on this one. Possibly, who knows. So Worried Man Blues is a song that I've always loved. I've learned it as a kid. I heard Woody Guthrie do a version of it when on my folks, uh, you know, old record player there back in the 60s. And uh, But as the years went by, I realized this song is really also a kind of a folk music credo. And I, I have a song where I say, don't sing a worried song if you're not worried now. Don't shake it from the outside in, shake it from the inside out. And meaning like you should feel what you're playing, which is the opposite of the f show business credo, which is the show must go on no matter how you're feeling. You get out there and do it. So the folk music credo is more like you should be feeling it and you should be sharing what you're feeling with uh, folks who uh, consider themselves to be folks. <laughs> So here's Worried Man Blues. Sleep. 
When I crossed the river, I laid down to sleep. When I crossed the river, and I lay down to sleep. When I woke up, I had shackles round my feet. Takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. But I won't be worried long Twenty-one links Chain around my leg Twenty-one links Chain around my leg Twenty-one links Chain around my leg And on each link Is an initial of my name a worried man to sing a worried song It takes a worried man to sing a worried song It takes a worried man to sing a worried song I'm worried now But I won't be worried Well, I asked that judge, what's going to be my fine? I asked the judge, what's going to be my fine? I asked the judge, what's going to be my fine? 21 years on that Rocky Mountain line. Oh, it takes a worried man to sing a worried song. Takes a worried man to sing a worried song. Takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. Well, that train pulled out 21 coaches long. The train. Chain pulled out, 21 coaches long. The woman I love is on that train and gone. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man. Sing a worried song, I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. If anyone asks you who made up this song, if anyone asks you who made up this song, if anyone asks you who made up this song, tell them it was me. And I sing it all day long. It takes worried man to sing a worried song. Takes a worried man to sing a worried song. Takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I don't want.
might stick the landing, but you know, I did the best I can. I love that song. Take some worried man. No, I definitely messed around with this one. I don't remember exactly how I changed it, but I definitely changed it. <laughs> well, I think once upon a time, I learned this song. Everybody knows this song who plays acoustic guitar, likes folk music or bluegrass music. It goes, I ain't gonna work on the railroad. I ain't gonna work on the farm. Gonna lay around the shack till the mail train comes back and I'm rolling my sweet baby's arms. And, um, and then the chorus roll in my sweet baby's arms. And then, and then it's, they start telling a story and uh, he seems to be singing to somebody else. So... I sort of gathered by reading into between the lines and the lyrics here that this was a guy who had a sweet baby, but uh, he left the farm. Maybe he went into the city. No, he didn't leave the farm. He left that area, and he went to this other area following this rich girl whose parents owned a farm and, and had some interest in a railroad. And then he decided that wasn't for him, so he changed his mind, and he was going to go back to the the earlier person but when i first learned it it seemed like it was all about one person so uh i i made, made i might have changed a line or two to make it ex more explicitly about two different people Your 
mama, she's a smooth operator. Your sister can weave and spin. Your daddy has an interest in the railroad line. You just watch that old money rolling in. But I'm not gonna work on that railroad. And I'm not gonna work on that farm. Gonna lay around the shack till I make. Fun, fun, fun to sing. I love these songs. I wish they had 50 more verses. I always look for more. <laughs> Add them on there. Have my way with them. I think everybody should do that when you do a cover. Just make it your own. Unless you're brand new and you're just learning and you're copying people that you love because you're trying to figure out how they did it. By all means, cover it just like they did. I did too. But once you feel like you found your voice, you should use your voice to sing a cover song that you like, not their voice. So don't play their intro. Play your intro. Don't do their chord. Do it the way you feel it. Because, you know, it takes a worried man to sing a worried song, and it takes someone who's in love with that song to sing it right. And it couldn't possibly be um, that you should sing it. Well, it couldn't possibly be better. It couldn't. You couldn't possibly do it better than the original version if you tried to do it their way, because they're the ones who did the song. Like, you're going to try to do a Beatles song better than the Beatles? Nah. Don't do it their way. They already hit it out of the park. Don't do a Tom Petty song the way Tom Petty does it. That's been done, man. He hit it out of the universe. Do it your way. You know, figure out your own way to do it. That's my advice. And I'm sticking with it. All right. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Do this every Sunday, 8 o'clock. Put my uh, set up here, repost it on Facebook, and then on Facebook uh, on my timeline, I look at all the uh, different musical friends and I listen to, uh, all this, I post all the stuff I'm listening to. Um, all of my music, I didn't, I don't think I've recorded any of these tunes. These are all traditional or old folk songs, so uh, I didn't record any of those, but um, all my other music, 41 albums worth, is available free for downloading or listening with a donation if you feel like it. There's a tip jar under this video, tip jar over there at, uh, at uh, YouTube, I mean at, um, at my website, but it's uh, not why I do this. It's not required or necessary or anything. It's just, just the do tip jar, just the tip jar, yeah, just like it's sitting on the table while I'm playing my stuff. So feel free to go over there and take all that music, 41 albums, not kidding. Take them all, share them if you like them, do whatever you want with them, but uh, you don't need to leave a tip unless you feel moved to, because it takes a tipping person in the mood who really feels it to leave a really good tip. And by good, I don't mean big. I mean a heartfelt, sincere tip. So it takes a sincere person to give a sincere tip. So if you're that person, fine, give me a tip. But if you're not, you don't feel it, don't do it. That's not the kind of tip I want. Take good care of yourself, breathe deep, so that when I see you, it's you I see. All right, take care. <laughs>